In this video, I wanna show you how you can do better searches online that are far more private than what you're probably doing now and much faster to get actual real results. So what happens when you do a search online today? Well, let's open up Google right now and do a search for what is a black hole? We get a whole bunch of results. Sometimes we get an AI answer here as well, which is something Google is adding on some searches, but we also always get a list of results. Apart from that occasional AI answer, nothing here is really giving us the answer to what is a black hole. It's giving us a bunch of places we can go to find the answer. Now we're gonna probably learn a lot in the process, but it's gonna take a while. Now, and of course, to get to this point, we have given Google more information about our interests and they can use that information to let their customers target us with their ads. This is going to happen with all the search engines, Google, Bing, and others. Even, even DuckDuckGo does this. And I thought that was the whole reason most folks are okay with their less than stellar results. So maybe you ask the question to an AI model. Perhaps it's ChatGPT or even Llama 3 using Olama. In the case of a black hole, we're probably gonna get a great answer. But if your question is more timely, you're sometimes going to get an answer that's made up. These are the hallucinations we've all experienced. Ideally, you want to search online, then feed the relevant information to a model and get back an answer. You want something like what you get with perplexity.ai. Now, before you go crazy and say perplexity isn't safe or local or private, I'm just using this as an example and we'll come back to a potential good solution. Not a perfect solution, but a pretty good solution. We could ask a question. Now, I just got back from an Alaskan cruise on the Westerdam, which is part of the Holland America line. It's strange to say that when they were acquired by Carnival a while back and are based in Seattle rather than the Netherlands. But anyway, I want to know what ships are in the Holland America line right now. Perplexity gives me an answer that starts to answer this. The materials on the site suggest that I might get a more complete answer if I, uh, show me the money. <laughs> pay up to subscribe to Perplexity and get access to the pro level. But it's good enough for our example. Now, what happened here? Well, first, Perplexity tries to analyze what I'm asking for and then submits that to an internet search. Then the results are fed to a model and I see the results of that generation. Nice. We also have some options to focus our search to specific information sources. There's also a discover tab to see what others are searching for and a library to store your previous searches, which is great. But you'll probably notice that what perplexity is doing isn't all that hard, but there's some problems we need to solve to replicate it. The biggest is how do we do the search? If we want to avoid the major search engines, are there any options? Well, there's an interesting project called something like Search NG. I'm assuming that's how they want you to pronounce S-E-A-R-X uh, search. They refer to it as a meta search engine. And from what I can tell, they're actually doing the actual search on Google and maybe other places too, but every request looks like it's coming from a different client. So there's no way they can track it mm, for the most part. Now, this is best when you host search ng yourself somewhere, but you get some of the benefits even running it locally. And that's what you get when you install Perplexica. Perplexica is still in its early days. There's a lot that isn't working, but the one main feature is working great. To get it up and running, clone the repo, edit the config file, pointing it to Olama, and start up the Docker containers using this command. And that's it. If you aren't familiar with Olama, then visit olama.com and you can get up and running in seconds. Now, open port 3000 on localhost and here we are. Unfortunately, you're stuck with dark mode, so that may be enough for a lot of folks to just not even bother with it. When you first launch the site, you are at this search window. On the left side, there's a magnifying glass, which is the discover page, like on Perplexity, but that doesn't work yet. And below that is a little book, which is the library page to store the previous searches, but eh, that doesn't work either. At the bottom is a gear icon for settings. Click that and you'll want to set the chat model and embedding models to whatever you want. 
I'm using Llama 3 8 billion parameter model for chat and Nomic embed for embedding. Why do we need embedding? Well, it's creating a kind of specialized RAG system. This isn't where you upload files, but rather it gets the search results, embeds them, and stores the embeddings in the vector database. Then embeds your question and finds the most similar results. This is then used to generate an answer. And just like perplexity, it first analyzes your initial question to figure out the best search query on the web to get the best first results. Now we can start asking questions. What ships are part of Holland America? In the results, we see a lot of what we saw on perplexity. We have a list of sources, we have the answer generated by a model, and we have other related questions we can ask. We can also focus our search to the same areas that we saw on perplexity. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for the product so far. I look forward to seeing the author add those other two pages, as well as enable a light mode to make it a bit more pleasing to use for, well, the rest of us. Is this a complete replacement for something like perplexity? Sort of, but not really. Maybe at some point in the future, it'll get closer, but on the downside, it's sometimes slower than perplexity, but not always. I'd say often the results are better with Perplexica, mostly because they seem to be more complete in a lot of the other tests I've done. But maybe if you're paying Perplexity, that advantage for local goes away. Of course, with Perplexica, everything's local. Well, except for the actual search. And everything is a whole lot more private. So that's a major advantage for Perplexica. Another advantage for Perplexity is that you can upload a doc and include that in your search results, making the results even more specific to you. That isn't available, at least not yet, on Perplexica. But, but I think this is pretty cool. I really want to thank I Have a Cute Nose on YouTube for suggesting I take a look at it. Of course, in their comment, they asked if it was good at RAG, and I think I answered the question, but if you're looking at a RAG solution for your docs, then no, this doesn't do that yet. What do you think? Have you used Perplexica? Have you used any other tools that perform a, a similar function and, and does that better? Or how about any other tools you think I should look at? Let me know in the comments below and I can take a look. I also have a newsletter that I send out that you can subscribe to at technofangelist.com slash newsletter. If you want to support me, there's a Patreon at patreon.com slash technoevangelist, and there's a number of different levels for that. Well, thanks so much for joining me again on this. I have a lot of fun making these videos, and I hope you get a lot out of them too. Goodbye. Where's my water? Stop and stop.